so I got a new addition to my camping setup. Hammock. I've been kind of meaning to get it for a while, but I never got around to it. And I think it's a nice upgrade. There's so many high peaks all around. Over there is one of them is Mount Ure and then Sheep Mountain. And then there's obviously a bunch of rainy peaks over there. But anyway, I'll uh, do some planning today and tomorrow. And I definitely want to hit like at least two peaks in the area. Okay, it's starting to rain in here as well. Alright, I'm all packed up and got a plan. The closest 14,000 mountain is Mount Shabano. Those kind of two, two peaks, I think it's the right one, and that is Mount Shabano. This is gonna be excruciating. The hike itself, it's like, it's about four and a half or like five miles, but there's like a four and a half or like 5,000 uh, feet elevation gain. So this is gonna be very gruesome for me. So what I'm thinking is getting my camping gear and uh, setting up camp somewhere by the tree line where the trees cut off camp out there and or leave my gear and uh, hike up we'll see how i feel a few days ago when i was uh opening up the windows i accidentally left the key in the ignition for a few hours and the headlights were on so i'm pretty sure the battery it won't start the battery drained oh yeah it's totally drained so this freaking jump starter came in clutch like a few times already and it's definitely coming in clutch right now I think I'm gonna need some momentum up this hill coming up so it's kind of steep there's some loose dirt i'm too slow i'm just gonna spin out hopefully no one's coming Momentum was not a good. Oh. My pasta sauce. Alright, I think momentum is not a good idea. Everything is falling apart. No! Had my voltometer unplugged. Pasta sauces in one piece. The rest could stay.
okay it's a bit of a late start what time it is even it's like 10 30 yep 10 35 but it's a strategic strategic curve yeah but it's a, it's a strategic uh late start I could probably do this hike in a day, easily in a day, eight or nine hours. But I wanted to do a little bit of uh, backpacking, so it's gonna turn. I'm gonna turn it into a two day, one night. I got my camping gear, tent, sleeping bags, and all that. So yeah, I didn't want to get out too early, cause then there would be a lot of. Uh, downtime at camp and the trailhead is just a couple of hundred of feet ahead so i'm practically parked right by it this place is pretty packed in the middle of the week Got a nice established spot in here. liter backpack that I have is that it has a water pouch water bladder uh, pouch on the inside and this thing is also like a little backpack so I just packed all the essentials in it I'm gonna leave the rest much easier. Last one up on Mount Shabana. Just a pass, I just passed a couple coming down and they did not see anybody coming up for quite a distance. So that's my accomplishment. Well, if it comes through, last one on Mount Shibano. <laughs> Probably should have should have uh, started hiking a bit earlier to give myself a little bit more play time. I think I might be running the old water uh, 
and there's no streams up ahead there was only one that i passed miles back still in the trees Just a little bit more, like what, 400 feet maybe? My first 14,000 feet above sea level mountain. It was tough, but I'm glad I made it. My voice is messed up. <laughs> it's not the greatest acoustics. I don't know if it's bouncing off somewhere far. <laughs> Carmelita, hold me, darling. I think I'm sinking now. 